Hey guys, welcome back to Man Time. Uh, today's episode, we're going to be getting in here, uh, popping the valve cover off, and adjusting our valve lash. We can do all that uh, from right under the hood here. Um, the hardest part, I think, to this whole job is uh, getting your exhaust off of there. I've got a double bracket on mine, and it's really hard to work in there. So we'll start there, um, get the hood off, and then see what's in there, and see what we need to take off to uh, get down to those valves. I may need to actually put a new rocker on there. There's something pretty interesting uh, with these rocker arms. It's unlike any other rocker arm and, and valve uh, clearance setting device. <laughs> I'll just put it like that. It's going to be a good episode. Grab a frosty beverage. Welcome to man time. All right, then we're just going to go through and uh, zip up all these. There's uh, a couple in the front here, uh, a couple on either side, and then a couple in the back. Yeah, while I'm in here working on this, it's a lot easier um, to change these hydraulic hoses right here. I want to do a little preemptive strike on these. Uh, these are going to be my tilt cylinders, um, the lines for those. And uh, these, I, I just had a couple blow out over here. Um, since it's uh, winter time and, you know, this is kind of like maintenance time for me anyway. Um, I'm going to check those, check the valve lash pull one of these hoses off so I can take it get a new hose and then I'll uh, replace out both these two hoses for the tilt and uh, on the other side for the uh, lift as well so all right let's get this hood off huh right, there's one trick for getting this hood off and that's taking your fuel cap off it'll get snagged on there if you don't do that so uh, lift it up past that fuel cap and grab it there Blow out your L7. You're coming down with her here. All right, so we're into the engine here. Um, there's a uh, hose right here that runs down to a vent tube that exhausts off down there. Um, I'm going to pull off this air cleaner housing just because I don't want dirt and anything falling down in, you know, to the valves and the valve train there. So we'll get this off of there. All right, here we are looking down into the engine from the uh, front windshield, and let's see here, if I remember right, um, I am able to, let's see, slide this, hmm. I think I slide it more this way, and then I'm able to um, get it off. with the valve cover but it's a little jammed on there top this tube out here there we go okay for the valve cover we've got half inch bolts all the way around and I haven't quite decided what I've got to do here yet since I haven't checked my valve lash but I may need a new valve cover gasket since we aren't leaking yet but we could very well start pretty quick all right nut lock washer typical I checked the uh, check the manual for the valve lash you've got uh, 0.17 on the um, intake and then 0.14 on the exhaust I think it might be reversed if you don't have a manual for your machine I highly 
recommend getting one um, for all the torque specs. I did double check the torque because if I've got a if I've got to uh, take the keeper for the um, for the rocker arms off of there, that's held in by head bolts, and you've got head bolts here and then head bolts under here. Um, and the head bolt is a 90, 100, 110 to 115 max torque uh, for the head. So hopefully I can get away without doing a head gasket. Um, we'll see. Okay, and the, the valve, yeah, it's, it's loosened up again. And here it's this first valve. I'll bring in here a little bit closer to take a look at it. That one seems to be doing all right. We'll check the lash here. All right, so here's looking down into our, um, I guess this would be a rocker guide bar. And uh, what it says in the manual is 0.14 for the intake side. It's going to be here. And then point one seven for the exhaust side which is um, this side here it looks like so yeah it is quite a bit out of tolerance and the big problem with these is um, there's no there's no locking nut here it's just this interference fit um, little bolt and that's it. And so what happened was, um, as I was taking this apart and stuff, um, one of these just rounded over and um, I ended up having to like drill it out and then ended up um, with a left hand drill being able to get it out of there. But I was thinking, oh, okay, well I'll just take the um, size of these and gauged them and I was like okay I'll just run a tap through here so that's not gonna happen again well um, yeah bad idea because I didn't know it was inter interference fit so these are supposed to fit super tight and there's no locking nut um, and it's a it's a special you know special type of bolt where it's got a, a round end on it to fit in with your lifting uh, rod and it's hollow so oil can flow down through there uh, or flow up through or vice versa but yeah it, it wasn't too bad though I mean it was only off by a little bit um, so now I'm back in spec there let's check this side for point let's see point oh one four I just kind of got lucky here and landed where I was supposed to be. Yeah, that one's a little loose too. I guess we'll just check them all. That one's good and tight. Oh, I'm still loose. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the main problem with these these engines here. The only problem that I found actually, um, except you know when I got the and, and this may be the reason why the engine failed in the first place. Um, these work themselves loose and then you bend a rod um, or it gets you know shoots through the lower part um, or you know runs bad and anyways is that one four let's double check that yeah that feels pretty solid right there okay um, so we'll get all the rest of these I already um, let's see, the easiest way to turn the engine over from here is with a pipe wrench on the um, drive shaft for the oil pump. Let's see, I've got this one up. This one's going to be another intake. Yeah, that one's a little loose too. <clears throat> And yeah, the way that I'm looking at the intake and exhaust on this side, I've got an exhaust um, port coming out here, and on this side, I've got my intake coming in. So it's just gonna, you know, pretty much line right up like that. Um, same on this side. Uh, right out of here, I've got an exhaust, and then on this side, um, 
same thing uh, exhaust port here uh, so you got intake if you're looking at it from the driver's side uh, intakes and then exhausts like that but you can see why it's so important to have these valves set for these older engines you've only got two valves per cylinder so you really need to have them in, in spec all right another way to uh, get the engine moved over a little bit is just to bump it like that um, typically it'll land where a couple of the valves are going to be in the right location to check your uh, check your lash Nope, oh, let's bump it again. Man, I don't know. I think I got... Just kind of wants to stop in the same spot every time. All right, I got a couple of them here. All right, and then you just keep bumping it over until you're finally able to uh, get it to where you get these uh, different rockers in the different positions here. I think I've got all of them here now. Okay, well, let's see if we can get this buttoned up before dark here and uh, see if it doesn't sound any better. Alright, triple check. Alright, this is probably going to be a little bit noisy with the uh, raw exhaust blowing out, but we should be able to listen for that valve train noise a little bit. I don't know about you but that sounded pretty good to me um, that's probably going to be a required maintenance on this after you know 500 hours or so many hours without having those lock nuts on those um, valve lash setting bolts or whatever they are um, they're, they're just going to continually work loose either tight or looser I found some that were uh, a little bit tighter some that were a little bit looser turning it over like two or three times making sure I'm getting uh, bottom dead center um, is uh is you know the the key to getting those set right in this type of situation here so i think i got them all set pretty good engine sounds good i'm gonna get it back together but on that exhaust pipe i'm actually gonna cut it a little bit off and put one of those little flapper deals on there so all right that's gonna do it for today on man time guys get out there have you some man time too